Here's a really fun, cute painting I taught this past week and everybody loved it. So I'm going to do some light blue and white on my mop brush a little bit over halfway going up my canvas and then start dipping into some cobalt blue with all those other colors on it to make it look like a fade. So you're going from dark to light and then dry it really good. Let's make a sun. With a medium round brush, I'm gonna make a dot and start swirling around that dot to make the circle bigger. Now you could take like the bottom of a cup or a plate and trace it. It, but I like to just keep adding circles around that dot until you get the size you want. Some people do small circles, other people like to do really big. I like to go on the really big side. There we go, like that. And let's let it dry so we can do a second coat then. But I'm gonna take a clean mop brush with some dark green and do a slanted line underneath that sun and fill it in. That's gonna be our ground cover. And then I'm going to take my medium round brush and do some grass. Now notice they're not all going to be the same height they're gonna be crossing over each other always plant it and pull up never pull from the sky down or it will look upside down and I'm gonna have them a little bit shorter underneath the moon right here you can add some light green for highlighting if you want with this painting in particular I do like to do more dark so I'm going to add some shading back in here and I'm even going to add some black blades of grass don't know why the black does something but I think it really does add a little bit bit more to this picture. So I'm going to add just a few strands of black. There we go. And then let's do another coat on the sun right here. Love it. You can even add more yellow for highlights. And then you could leave it like this, but I think the bottoms of the grass look a little funny. So let's do some dark green and light green on our fan brush. And I'm just pulling up with some texture. We're going to do some fine blades of grass here, blending it up. I'm going to bring that texture up above that clean cut line in the background as well. So it just looks like an overgrown field of grass, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my medium round brush and let's add a couple more light blades of grass in the front at the bottom. There we go. Now I think it looks like a field. So grab some scissors. This is where it gets interesting. We're gonna use some bubble wrap. Kids love to do this one too, by the way, if you're looking for a good kids painting. And I'm gonna take the bubble wrap and cut it into a couple different sheets that look like this. And then with a mop brush, I'm gonna pick a color. Let's do pink first and brush it onto the textured side. Never dip into the paint directly like we do with the sponge because you'll get too much, but just brush on a thin coat, fold it like this and tap anywhere you want a little cluster of flowers. This is a great alternative to a sea sponge as well, by the way, if you're looking for something, uh, but you do get a little um, more definite circles than the sea sponge. This is great for doing flowers, I think. So I'm going to do a couple different ones at the top there and then wipe it off. You can get a whole new sheet if you want, but I like to reuse them if possible. So that one looks clean enough. I'm going to brush on some dark blue now. There we go. And then do the same thing. Just a couple different taps. You don't want to lose your grass. Okay. Don't lose it because this is so much fun. Some people cover their entire painting and they lose the whole composition. So I'm just going to do a couple different spots. Let's do some yellow in here. I did grab a new sheet for that because I don't want them to turn green. And by the way, the blades of grass that you made really tall don't have to be the stems to the flowers. Some people think that they have to cover all of those because they think they're the stems to the flowers. They're not. They're just blades of grass in there. And I'm going to add some white. I always like to do white last because that's more of like your highlighting. So I bounce that all in, especially at the bottom. See, I'm probably even going too far, but eh, that's okay. I like color and texture. There we go. So have fun with it. You can always add more blades of grass in between if you need to, if you do too much, but I think that this will work. See, that was super easy, but it always turns out super, super cute. Love it. So have fun, pick your own colors. If you like this tutorial, follow me for more on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I'd love to see what you do.